I'm going to know a few of you by name. Uh, don't make me start making a call out sheet. Ah. Welcome back everyone to workout 007. I got the throwback flip society tank on today. It's another sweltering one outside. I appreciate everyone for staying the course on what I'm calling our regular scheduled programming workouts. I've also in my fitness career been known to create some incredibly fun and creative workouts. So I've decided as a gift, every 10th workout, I'm gonna post a special workout that we can all try to grind through together, which deviates from our, our standard set structures and can just be anything that my mind has created up. And today's finisher is just a tiny little taste of that. Today's workout has two parts. In part A, we're going for four by 12 squats. So that's a total 48 reps versus the 50 versus the 70 we've recently completed. So we're still in that very high volume range. We're going at the back squat and the pull patterns today again. So it's gonna start off with back squats for 12 reps. We're doing a neutral grip pull up versus the wide grip pull up and chin up. Um, and again, if you don't have that pull up bar, you're gonna be left behind and stuck to your row or fly patterns with dumbbells. And then third move there, we have a bent over gorilla row, alternating row, I'll be using kettlebells for that, but you can just bend over and use dumbbells the same. So no real modifications there. In part two, like I mentioned, we have that spicy finisher. I'm just calling the hell of a burn. And you'll know why when we get there and you'll see the movements once we get to that point, but it's nasty. It's gonna be nine minutes straight, total of six minutes of legs and three minutes of bicep curls and core. So pretty nasty time. Let's get down to the floor, warm up our squat patterns and get to it. All right guys, I've been keeping the warm ups pretty straightforward. So just a mat and two dumbbells again. Let's start in our butts and start some standard hip wipes. You can just put the hands behind you, get those hip joints loosened up. All this is especially important if you've just come off working a desk job all day sitting down. All you've done is compressed the joints, compressed the low back. So we got to get some length back in them. No big deal. Okay, we're going to go to our lazy pigeon position. You know I love this one too. That's the fold overs. Oh, so add a few of those. Remember it's easiest over the knee line and it's a little more difficult over the shin line if you're extra flexible for that. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little shin box lift here. So using the power of your glutes, you might have to cheat with your hands. Try to just elevate to a nice extension of the hip and settle back down, putting the brakes on with your muscle control and not too much momentum. Again, if that's too much for you, just roll through it and assist with the hand and back down. One more. Okay, now we're gonna add, follow me here, follow me here. Back leg is gonna come up, swing through, stomp, and we're in that position for the groin and ankle stretch like we were doing one or two workouts ago. Chill out, get a little pump and pulse, come back, swing the leg back around, control, Woo, and put the descent on. Back in, nice front step. Get that mobility stretch, come back, control the descent. Up, through, whoa, into that. Feel the ankle, and down one more. Remember, if you land close to the body, you're getting Achilles. If you land far away, you get into the groin stretch, down, and down, spinneroo, we'll switch legs. Okay, just start mellow with a fold over. The hell of a burn, hell of a burn is coming. Get ready to scream out, out loud later. Okay, that's good. I'm trying to elevate, pushing through the glute to get lift, squeeze both glutes up high and settle back down. Coming up, settling back down, up, settle back down. One more and down. Now we come up, swing through, nice step. 
glide. Am I still in frame? Yes, I am. Coming back. Put the brakes on. Settle. Come through. Swing forward. Stomp. Hang out for a sec. Good. Coming back. Brakes. Ah, that's nice. Through. Stomp. Boom. Boom. Looking good. Looking good. One more. Last one. Up. Through. I come a little closer. Get a little ankle there. And excellent. Okay. What are we going to next? Are you guys reading my mind yet? Cat cow? Cat cow? Okay. Spine extension and flexion. <laughs> Extension, flexion, extension, flexion. That's good. I'll just turn to you guys. One foot forward. Okay, you can go back leg off the ground, hand to ground if you want to. Add a little inside out knee circle. Nice. Okay, and then it's just a hand touch and reach, or you can try to work elbow down to ground with or without the back knee touching on the floor. So reach, touch, reach. Try to get depth in this hip. And over time, eventually, that elbow should hit ground, no problem. This is one of the moves I test myself on just to see if I'm really tight one day or not, because I normally can drop in no problem. So if I'm finding resistance eight, six inches away, I know something's up and I'm not gonna be moving to my, my uh, peak performance. Okay, next side, hands down or hand on. Add inside out knee circles. I can see this bug. We've had a hatching of these red and black beetles on the wall outside. There's thousands of them chilling in the sun and they're sneaking into the garage. They don't do anything, but they're everywhere. Okay, add the elbow drop, reach, drop, reach, five or six. Excellent. Okay, we'll posture up to just some scap rows and torsion control again. So tall plank. Lock the elbow, break the shoulder blade and push, break and push. Okay, roll the wrist out if you have to. Torsion control, remember it's narrow with wide stance. Narrow and pretty wide, brace, tap slow, tap slow. Eight, eight, good enough. Okay, Matt's going out of the way. Let's grab our dumbbells and just mimic some of the movements today. So dumbbells up. Well, there that beetle fell. I'm gonna crush him. Drop into just five nice and easy squats. Okay, and if you're not using barbell with some heavier weight, you're just limited to what you have at home. For all your squats through my programming, we're gonna be doing the tempo or the pausing. So let's do five of each, just to respect everyone with the lighter dumbbells. Tempo first, let's go for three drop. Three, two, one, three, two, one. No break, one, one dumbbells can also be by your side so you don't kill your arm so much. Just don't push your knees in, make sure your knees have room to breathe. And if a tempo up and down still isn't gassing you for the low rep scheme we have, you could also add the pause at the bottom. One more of the three, three. Okay, so you could do slow down, a full pause and slow up to really get that weight, time under tension, eating you up. And let's do five pause squats at the bottom. 
dropping in three two one up down remember this isn't a passive rest at the bottom i'm actively uh fighting the rep up down three two one up down three two one up one more three two one uh, okay dumbbell bent over row so nice hinge like we've been doing keep the dumbbells right against the body line don't swing them out in front of the toes row up and down let's go 15 reps Okay, we'll go into a back fly pattern, maybe about 10 reps. Uh, won't work if your dumbbells are too heavy, so just keep rowing. But back fly, remember, follow your toe line. Minimal throwing around the upper body for momentum. Eleven, twelve. what the heck? Okay, and just to rehearse the gorilla row, my kettlebells will be on floor. If you're stuck with dumbbells, we're gonna open the stance up, sit into a sumo squat. Maybe you can squat deep enough to get down there with your back straight, but it's gonna be a one and one row. So you gotta go one row, hang, one row, hang. So do a few of those. A little more frontal view here. Okay, big sumo squat one down you're almost bicep curling it into the rib kind of wrapping around the body shouldn't hit the legs so it's not seesaw rowing it's one and one one done one done guess what your legs will be burning doing this three three two two one one time to go See you guys back for set one, quick water sip. Set up your squat, your pull-up bar, the one I've been giving a link to has that neutral grip, and get two dumbbells or two kettlebells ready on the floor. Okay guys, start a set one. We've been comfortable with 20 reps, we've done 15, we've gone down to 10. So you should know the weight you'll be able to handle for 12. Keep it the same through all four sets or try to go heavier the whole time. I'm starting with 135 here. Let's get after our 12 reps. And again, if your body weight or lighter weight and you're not doing the pausing or it's not good enough, just go for way more volume, way more reps. Seven. Eight, nine, Ooh, keep your tension on, Ooh, there's 11, Ooh, 12, and that noise I'm making is, is the air leaking out of me on exertion, you're never holding your breath on exertion, that heart rate kicks when you're done the squats, neutral pull, Wide grip pull up is the hardest of the pull. Chin up is second easiest. A neutral pull gets you the biggest mix of those lat back muscles and your arms. So you'll do your best on this kind of pull. I'll start with the right foot. I'm only in a purple as opposed to the green and yellow from before on the 25 or 20 rounds. And I'm going chest to the back of that handle, boom. Oh, this might still get hard. Full stretch of the arm all the way up. Ten. Ooh, Eleven. Twelve. Okay. 
Nice knees there. So my gorilla row with the kettlebells. I'm setting up just like a sumo deadlift. You gotta brace the whole time because we're bent over. We just came off arms, so this is gonna be very challenging. I gotta go, gotta go 12 per side. Here we go. Uh, Mike, as you pull from one, push into the other if you're touching floor. That's a good secret. Three again, if it's lighter, always just go more reps. Nothing I say is the law or concrete. Halfway, the legs are locked. Ten, oh boy, Ten, this takes a while. Eleven, nothing moves, just the row and the shoulder blades. Woo, water break, breather. See you back for set two. Okay, set two, jumped up to 155. Again, don't lift to your full potential. Not, don't go for glory. We have had six minutes of legs coming up in the finisher. So let's just get this to survive again. 12 reps, go for it. Halfway. Again, if you don't rack it, you can just stand strong to catch your breath. Moderate tempo, don't rush it. No sloppy bounces off the bottom. back oh got it again custom music mashup playlist link that I've dug up is probably in the description if you guys want custom music play something for me okay sticking with purple here switching legs going left foot in now this actually felt the easiest out of everything so far. Full stretch to start. Lats engaged and arms take over. It's halfway. Nine. Ten. Oh boy. I thought about going to the yellows for the last two sets. Not gonna happen. Ooh. Yikes. Okay. Remember, you're getting beaten down by both pull movements here. We got the pull ups and the row back. Get your dumbbells, bells ready. Okay, settling in. These are 53 pounds each. If you guys have 50 pound dumbbells, that's a nice equivalent. Brace, back loaded. Actually, lower body's not moving. Isometric hold like a wall set. Twelve. Twelve. Oh. Oh. Water.
a break breather, record the numbers. See you back for set three. All right, back for set three, still 12 reps. I just jumped up 10 pounds to 165. These two are staying the same. Our pull strength will be drastically falling off. So as good as you feel, don't expect performance to stick around for that. So 12 squats again, let's go. In my ear. Okay. Let it. Draw. Oh. Catch your heart rate as quick as you can. Get off the mouse breathing. and try to bring that recovery back into nasal breathing. There's nothing good about mouth breathing. There's like 47 benefits to nasal breathing. Who are they? James Nestor, breathe, and Patrick McCune. Look into nasal breathing, guys. Okay, I'm still mouth breathing. I'm talking too much. Let's go back to our original foot. Here we go for 12. Shoot. No swearing allowed. So these handles guys bring the bar lower to me so you can see I can actually touch floor. So if your bar in the door is too short for you, you just kind of bend and sit to the floor and you can still get full stretch of the arms. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got the 12 there. 12 of these guys. Again, you can pause, pause to catch up or you're just sitting there waiting for me. Do extra reps if you know it's easy or add some hold pausing. Shake it out. If you guys have dumbbells, you can't get down all the way. Stack some books up or something to bring the dumbbells to you. Uh, sweat tell. Sweat tell. See you back quick for set four. Okay guys, we're back for set four of 12 reps. I know in the bread and butter part two, I squatted 175 for 10 at the very end. So I'm gonna go 175 now for 12. Try to squeak in one or two more reps. Should be doable. That's my logic. Here we go.
halfway. It's a slow crawl. Every rep's got to look the same. Might slow down a bit. There it is. Oh, I hate this back up. Oh, here comes the surge. Nose breathing, nasal, nasal, nasal. As long as you're not doing like full out intensity wind sprints, you shouldn't have to recover through your mouth. And deeper than you think, helps settle that quick breath in and out very quickly. Okay, here we are. Okay, so we're back fourth time to the neutral pull. Again, you're doing neutral pull down with your bands if you just have those, or it's back fly with dumbbells. Eight. Got to take a recharge for a sec. Oh, arms. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Now again, if you just can't do that with all your bands, modify the rep. Maybe just chin over, maybe to 90 degrees. Or maybe you're just not ready for the bar. You could stand up on a bench so you're using your legs the whole time. Modifications for everything, guys. There's a thousand different exercises. Don't get stuck doing one you're not comfortable with. All right, let's finish this. 12 per side. Get down low, squat your arm to the handle. Weight stays inside your toe line. Stay tight. Oh, sweat out. Water break breather. Clean it all up. Two dumbbells and a mat is all we need for the hell of a burn finisher coming up. Okay, everyone, we're wrapping our heads around this hell of a burn finisher. This is what I used to stick in at the end of class is just to drop people. It's going to be six minutes straight. Then we're going to do a mini version of three minutes straight. So one minute rounds. We're doing static split squat jump for a minute. And then the next minute you switch your legs. And then for the third minute, we're not jumping. We're just doing fixed split squat. Fourth minute, fixed split squat. So it's left, right, left, right. And then fifth, sixth minute, we're doing bicep curl and candlestick crunch here. All the videos should be showing up on the side so you know what's up. And modifications if you just can't do the jumps, no problem. That's going to be six minutes straight, then I'll switch the clock to 30 second rounds and we'll do it all over again. So it's going to be nine minutes on the clock. Get ready. <gasps> Here we go. Okay, guys, if you need to say a prayer, say it now. We start in 10 seconds. Oh, I'm going to go right leg first. So take your pit position, doesn't have to be big jumps, and go. Mellow, just, we call it credit card jump, just enough height to swipe a credit card under your feet. And you gotta keep, keep moving as best you can. 
Why do I call it hell of a burn? You're going to find out. Oh my gosh. Keep my swearing to a minimum. Oh, that's halfway. Oh my gosh. Come on. Uh, 15 seconds. Holy crap. Try to use your front leg because you need the next one in a sec. Oh, flush for a sec. We're in. We're in. It doesn't help to go slower either. Oh, oh, little flush. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dig it up. Oh, halfway. Ah, ah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ooh. Oh. oh, I want the moon gravity cheat code. Ah. Ah. Oh, this is one. If I camera went into focus, I would die. Come on. Come on. Come on. Reps. Reps. Ah. Five seconds. Go. 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 Ah. Back to the first leg, no jumps. Okay, T knee touch, full height. Touch, full height. Uh, I see this squat rack. I wanna grab onto it very badly. Seam of your shirt, guys, straight down. Don't have to fall forward on this one. Uh, put the weight in your front leg. Oh, come on. Uh, halfway. Yeah. Yeah. Dig it up. Embrace the burn. Oh, man. The burn doesn't mean you're losing strength. Uh, just trying to see how weak the mind is. Oh. Oh, final flurry. One more after this. Come on. Oh, beep. Next leg, go, go. Oh, that feels like a oh, big relief. Knee touch, up, touch, up, touch, up. I won't see you guys for five days after this one. Ah, ah, come on. Come on, 40 seconds left. Yeah. Find a cadence. Come on, keep going, keep going. Uh, I'm gonna know a few of you by name. Uh, don't make me start making a call out sheet. Uh, five seconds, come on. Uh, okay. Swart towel, bicep curl, bicep curl, bicep curl. Get your dumbbells. Whoa, my legs. I'm using 30 pounders. You can't put them down, but you can just hang on to them to flush. Halfway. Try to stay strict. Throw them with your legs if you need to. 15 seconds. Come on. Seven seconds. And then we're onto our backs. Okay, on your backs, down low, down low, quick transition, get my mic out of the way, uh, 
Okay, arms push into floor, and we stay feet to ceiling. You can go for a really good point, or just try to get the hips off the ground and burn your triceps up by pushing. Uh, what do we got? 21 seconds. Then we're going to stop for a quick sip. Very quick. And I'm going to throw us in to the 30 second clock. Four, three, good. Woo! Okay, we're not going anywhere. Uh, quick sip of water. This one's live. This one's live. Mm. Okay. I got the I got the second round timed. Here we go. Get this out of the way again. Okay. Brutal. Ten seconds. Ten second countdown. Uh, here we go. Pick the leg you're starting with. Go. And we're doing hops. 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 It's about one every two seconds. So you're looking at 15 almost right now. Ah. Switch right away, no transitions. Hands on hips. Oh, that's not going to go good. Hands can be wherever they want. I can't leave the floor anymore. Over halfway. Oh. Oh, five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, first foot fix. Knee touch up, knee touch up, down, up. Audio, good. Down. Fixed split squat. Eight seconds. Oh, last one for legs. Come on, let's go, let's go. No more squats or lunges or split squats for four or five more days. These are your last reps. 10 seconds. Speed it up. Ah, 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 ah. Biceps, biceps, biceps. Get them, get them, get them. In quick. Five seconds. Okay. Candle set to freedom. Down, down, down. Go, go, go. One. Oh my God. Okay. Zero, zero, seven. Hell of a burn. Finished. Okay, if you guys think these workouts are too long, maybe save this finisher for the end of the day, or you can do it the day after and make it longer. Do it again twice. Tell a friend. Do it with a friend, with a spouse. 
just get working out. Thank you, everyone. See you back for zero, zero, eight.